Hey yo people! Welcome to Emerald Spring Peaks. You know the drill. Five new, ten old. Let's go. We're starting with Kikiro here. He's an innkeeper with barely any customers. He gives you a voucher to help promote his business. Septimus, the treasure hunter by the dungeon entrance, is looking for a place to stay for the night. Give him the voucher, then guide him back to Kikiro. Mardoni over here is more interested in the camping experience rather than an inn, so if you chat with him, he'll give you a tent to set up and some ribs to cook for you to experience the joy of camping too. Use the tent tools on the pile of wood and then the ribs on the fire and show off your results to Mardoni. Gimiko is concerned about the air quality nearby. Express some concern and you'll be enlisted to get a sample. Right-click the bottle to autopath to the collection site, and then bring it right back. Are you interested in secret martial arts? Master Shi has just the lesson for you. After you speak with him, your skill bar will change. Give your new skill a try on the dummy next to him, and then hand back its fragments to complete the oddity. And finally, back here with Septimus, the treasure he's looking for is up the waterfall behind him. Grab it, then hand it over. And now, we're on to the old ones. Pakana here has put on some winter pounds and is too tired to finish taking all the photos he wants. No problem, just right-click the camera to autopath over to the waterfall for a photo, and bring it back. Looks like a cooking showdown is happening over here. Let's start with Aneth. She hands you a list of ingredients. You can find the egg and cabbage she wants around the camp, then bring it back to her to finish. Meanwhile, Lilica just needs more flame. So, light her torch on the nearby fire and add more fire to the fire? This seems poorly thought out. Surprisingly unrelated to the two chefs, over here we have a hungry crocodile. If you turn around, you should see a tasty little crab you can feed it. R.I.P. Little Crab. AC over here is actually a fairy godmother, but has lost her mana and is trapped in this form. After a little passive aggression, you agree to recharge her crystal. You can right-click it to auto-path, but you may need to jump off the mountain for it to work. Once you have charged it into a passionate fire crystal, bring it back to see her true form. Once again, let's put our animal whispering skills to the test. This mama tanuki is missing her child and will provide you with some bait to find it. With the note that her child likes to dig into the ground, we have the clue that leads us to this mound over here. Investigate the mount to lure it out, then bring it back to Mama. Mm. 
Mokan has the nice business of scavenging items from crime scenes and then selling them. Reduce, reuse, recycle, I suppose. Uh, investigate the body and bring back the bloody belongings. We're accomplices now, so this should net us some G, shouldn't it? Hariri here was poisoned when she was younger, and would like some spring water to cleanse her. You can autopath with the bottle she provides you to gather some healing water and bring it back to her. Oh, I kind of thought she'd be a human. Something around here smells, Jackson says, and yes, that checks out. This is where we found toxic gas on the new oddity. Anyway, Jackson thinks he knows what's causing it. Erta's experiments. He provides you with a seed you can use to cleanse the poisonous plant that Erta is working on. Autopath over to get the purified flower, and then bring it back to Jackson. And here we have Erta, the poison expert. She'd like that stinky plant that we used the seed on in the last oddity. So head over and pick it, then bring it back to find that Erta is hell-bent on taking Jackson out. But that is it for Emerald Spring Peaks. Just two maps left to go now. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.